speech feedback. As you begin to type a sentence, you will hear the speech feedback within the program. This is a sample of text showing how the software can read as you type. It can read as you type each letter, word, or sentence. You can then have the sentence read back by clicking on the play button. This is a sample of text showing how the software can read as you type. You can see there is dual color highlighting when it is reading. This visual reinforcement helps to promote word recognition. Adjusting speech. It is possible to customize the speech facility to suit you. To access any of the settings, select the drop-down menu beside the play icon. From here you can set the program to read back completed text by word, sentence, or paragraph. Here it is reading by sentence. You can turn on or off the speak as you type option. You can also turn on or off screen reading which will read all the menu items and buttons. This is useful if you need help to navigate around the software. When you select automatically read next block of text, you won't have to click on the forward button to have the software read the next piece of text. Web highlighting is used to read web pages. You can see that it is already switched on because it has a tick beside it. To show how this works, I will open a web page. By simply hovering the mouse over the piece of text to be read, the software will read it. Welcome to TextHelp Systems Limited. TextHelp Systems Limited has developed software products which fall into many classes. Speech options. Let's go back to the drop down beside the play button. In the speech options, you can alter the voice and how the software highlights. Clicking on speech options opens the speech options panel. Here in the speech tab, you can adjust the system voice settings. You can choose a different voice and change its speed and pitch. I'm going to change the voice. Increase the volume and slow the speed. To check these settings, click on the test button. This is your new voice. Is it okay? As you can hear, there is a noticeable change. The Say Like tab is where you can adjust the pronunciation of words in the program. This is likely to be most useful for entering names of people or places, or to allow for local accents. I will highlight its usefulness by entering the name for a small town in Ireland called Oma. I type the word I want to change into the Pronounce This box. This is how it is pronounced now. Omig. Then I add the phonetic spelling of this word to the Like This box. This is how it will sound. Oma. Once I am happy with the addition, I click the Save button and the place name Oma is added to the list. Now any time that Oma is read out, it will be pronounced exactly how I want it. In the Auto Read tab, you can turn on and off the Speak as I Type function and adjust it to speak on each letter, word, or sentence. I'm going to have it speak on each word only. The screen reading facility in Read and Write Gold can be very useful for the dyslexic user as it automatically reads buttons and menus. 
This ensures that the user can understand all parts of their screen. To switch on the screen reading facility, select the I would like to use screen reading option. And then click OK. Desktop. I can check that this feature is active by putting the mouse over the read and write gold toolbar. Sounds like desktop. Word wizard. As you can hear, the icons are now red. Another feature to assist the user is the option to change the way Read and Write Gold highlights as it reads. This is a particular advantage to users with dyslexia, as studies have shown that highlighting text in colors such as yellow or blue leads to greater levels of comprehension. In the Highlighting tab, there is a choice of four different highlighting methods. Speak with Highlighting in Document, which we have already seen. Speak with Highlighting in Text Reader, whereby the text will be brought into a separate text reader panel. Speak using One Word Display. whereby each word will be brought in to a separate panel as it is read and speak with no visual display. I'm going to set it to speak using the one word display. There is then a choice of options in the panel at the bottom. I'm going to increase the font size and change the word and Sentence Highlighting Colors. You can see the effect below. Once I'm happy with the settings, I click on the OK button. Now when I press the play button, the text will be read out to me with each word highlighted individually in a separate panel. This shows the one word display. Reading text. To read completed text, you use the five speech control buttons on the toolbar. I will demonstrate this with in-document highlighting. To start it reading, click on the play button on the toolbar. You can pause, forward, rewind, and stop the speech. This is a larger piece of text to show how the software reads when you use the buttons on the, on the toolbar. You can use the pause, forward, rewind and stop buttons to control what the software reads. This is a larger piece of text to show how the software reads when you use the buttons up.